Hello, welcome to singing time this week. So excited to sing with you. We've got a lot of great songs. This week in Come Follow Me, we learned about a lot of great things. One thing that we learned about was in Moroni chapter 6, we learned, why do we go to church? Do you know why? There's a lot of reasons. One of the many reasons is that we need to nourish our souls. What does that mean? I have here a bowl of nourishment. In here, I have a banana. Mm, that's nourishment for our bodies. I have some broccoli. That's good for us. I have some tape. No, that's not nourishment for us. A fork? No. Hmm, what else? An orange, that's good. A tomato. Two more things. A pen and a granola bar. Which one's nourishment and which one's not? The granola bar is nourishment and the pen is not. So does that help you understand what nourishment is? The things that feed us and fuel us are nourishment for our bodies. And just like our bodies need food, uh, food and fuel, our spirits do too. And that's one of the many reasons that we go to church. And right now, many the, one of the many reasons we do home church. So we're going to read a few scriptures that teach us many reasons that we do church. And we're going to sing a song about each of those scriptures. So the first scripture that we have is in Moroni chapter 6. And if you don't have your scriptures with you, Go grab them right now. Hit pause and go get them because I want you to read these with me. I'm going to be reading them on my phone today. Okay. The first one is Moroni chapter 6, verse 6. And it says, And they did meet together oft to partake of bread and wine in remembrance of the Lord Jesus. So we meet together and go to church so that we can remember our Savior. Let's sing He sent His Son. And, rem and think of the many ways that we can remember him. How could the Father tell the world of love and tenderness? He sent his Son, a newborn babe, with peace and holiness. How could the job. I love that song and I wish I could hear you guys singing it because I know that you guys know it so well. So that song and the scripture that we read helps us know that we need to fuel our bodies and our spirits by remembering our Savior. The next scripture is Moroni chapter 6 verse 9 and it says, and their meetings were conducted by the church after the manner of the workings of the Spirit and by the power of the Holy Ghost. For as the power of the Holy Ghost led them to whether to preach or to exhort or to pray or to supplicate or to sing 
Even so, it was done. We go to church so that we can sing. One of those that said that we, um, the Holy Ghost helps us to know when to sing. This, um, when we sing the sacred hymns, it helps us remember our Savior. And it is fuel to our souls. So we are going to sing reverently, quietly. And I want you all to stand up for this because we have got some whole body movements. So we say reverently, quietly a lot in the song. So when we do reverently, I want us to take our right hands and go reverently all the way up here. And then when we say quietly, we're going to take our left hands and do the other way. Quietly. Okay, so we're going to go reverently, quietly. Can you do that? Okay. And then after we sing it the first time, we'll do our hands down like this. And we'll repeat. Down like this. Okay, and then watch me for the rest of the movements. is Moroni chapter 6 verse 5. We're going to only sing or only read the first half of it for now. It says, and the church did meet together oft to fast and to pray. Did you hear a reason why we meet at church? To fast and to pray. That is a great reason. We can pray and fast while we're not at church, but that is um, one of the reasons that we like to meet together. So we are going to sing... I pray in faith. So this is the one where the first verse gets clapping motion and the second verse gets the big arm swings. So we are going to go over the first verse, then go over the second verse and see if you guys remember them. Then we'll mix them together. Oh, I had it backwards. The first verse is our arm motion like this. Okay. one you're going to do. Think about it, think about it. Okay, then we will sing the third verse, both of them combined. Here we go. Thank 
scripture is Moroni chapter 6, verse 4. And after they had been received unto baptism, and were wrought upon, and cleansed by the power of the Holy Ghost, they were numbered among the people of the church of Christ, and their names were taken, that they might be remembered and nourished by the good word of God, to keep them in the right way, to keep them continually watchful unto prayer, relying upon the merits of Christ, who was the author and finisher of their faith. So this one sounds a little tricky, but we meet together on Sundays at church so that we can hear the word of Christ. And that is nourishment to our souls. When people give talks and bear their testimonies, that helps our testimonies grow as well. So who in the scriptures spoke about Christ? So many people, but one in particular, Samuel the Lamanite, he stood on a wall and got arrows shot at him to preach about Christ. So we are going to sing his song. And we know sign language to this, so follow along. scripture to read. Our last one is Moroni 6-5. And we already read the first half of this verse earlier, but now we're going to read the whole thing. And the church did meet together off to fast and to pray and to speak one with another concerning the welfare of their souls. What does that mean? That means that we serve each other. So we meet um, in church at home or at the church house so that we can know if everyone's okay and that we can grow together as our ward family and help each other out. So we're gonna sing Love One Another and because it's so cold outside, we're gonna do a snowflake as we sing. So if you want me to make cuts on the snowflake, I have to hear singing. If I can't hear singing, then I can't cut the snowflake. You ready? Okay, here's the snowflake we're gonna make. So you sing and I cut. You ready? We'll see what it makes.
Good job. Let's unfold it and see what it is. Okay, here's the big reveal. What did we make while we sang Love One Another? A snowflake with hearts. Do you see all those hearts? We've got hearts right here, hearts right here. A little bit of hearts in the center. Those were hard to cut. I see it. You want to see it? All right. No. I hope you guys felt the spirit today as you sang. And I hope that you can feel the spirit as you have church at home over the next few weeks. Because our families are just like our ward families. We need each other and we need each other's testimonies so that we can grow our own. And I say that in the name of Jesus Christ. All right. Have a great week and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.